buddy of John and Sean again. Uh, I don't know how many of you remember the George W. Bush tax cuts. Uh, when, when the Bush administration passed the tax cuts, they had a little added gimmick. Instead of having people wait to file their taxes and then get a, uh, a refund, Bush had the government send out checks to taxpayers. $300 if you were a single guy, $600 for a family. Now, $300, even back then, was hardly anything for a single guy. And for a family of like four, $600, gone in a second. But they did help to increase the popularity of the Bush tax cuts. There's nothing like seeing money in your hand to do that. The Trump tax cuts, they had a gimmick too. The IRS withheld less taxes. So people's paychecks look a tiny little bit better. But now it's tax season and some people are finding when they file their taxes that instead of getting refunds, they actually owe the IRS money. Some of the red states, in order to help make Trump look better, decreased what, what they withheld in order to make Trump look good. So in those states, now people are finding that they owe the state some money. Now there are a lot of red states that don't have income taxes. Those states depend on sales taxes, which means that if you live in one of those states, the rich barely contribute and the tax burden lies unfairly on the middle class and the poor. But that's a whole other video. Now, as usual, with Republican tax cuts, 90%, 99% actually, of the Trump tax cuts went to the rich and the corporations, which has resulted in a massive increase in our national debt. It is increasing at the rate of almost a trillion dollars a year right now, and that's unsustainable. But if your income comes primarily from a job, the Trump tax cuts actually do benefit you a little bit. You will pay a little less in taxes than you did before. But if you're self-employed, if you sell stuff, or if you're part of the gig economy, unless you're extremely rich, your taxes went up. That's because even though the standard deduction is now higher than it was before the Trump tax cuts, that only applies to wages. If you look at your tax form, the self-employment tax comes near the very end of it, after the personal income tax part of the form has been calculated. So the standard deduction, or even itemized deductions, don't apply to the self-employment tax. Now if you're a billionaire or a trillionaire, that's not even a problem. But if you're a temporary worker or, or somebody who's classified as an independent contractor or if you're in the gig economy like a Lyft driver or, or, uh, or an Uber or, or if you're somebody who, uh, who gets hired to take care of children or walk dogs or to, you know, part of that gig economy, then your taxes went up. So if you fit in that, that category, you're kind of screwed. And once again, you can bet that eventually all that massive amount of debt that the country is running up is going to come due. And even though the rich are the ones who benefited from it, they're not going to be the ones who pay for it. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But... There are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on.
So, if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.